I want to speak a little bit differently today and actually tell you a little bit of my story, but through the lens of a topic that I'm really passionate about, which is leading change. And knowing that when you drive change and you're pushing people outside of the status quo, it's going to bring with it that backlash. By virtue of having an opinion, you invite the counter opinion. I particularly love, it can't be done. We have always done it this way. Well, that's not my job. I mean, uh, but I bet you, if I, if I went around and talked to all of you, you've heard scores of these deployed as excuses, used at meetings, shutting down ideas, or not allowing them airspace to grow. So I want to talk about the three biggest lessons that I've learned in the work that I've done to date. Because one of the most daunting things about change is it just seems so gosh darn big. You know, it seems like this, this giant process that me as one individual, how do I have an impact on that? I'd been working in Indigenous Australia doing business building in, in Northwest WA. And off the back of that was provided this opportunity to start a microfinance project in Kenya. And from the moment I'd arrived in Kenya, I'd been told that it was two and a half kilometres to the closest water station. And on this particular day, we'd taken an alternative path through the slum. And about 400 metres from the sea container, we'd stumbled on a well. And so I said through our Swahili interpreter, hold on, isn't that a well? And the answer came back, yeah, it is. And I said, well, how come no one's drinking from this well? This is a well that was probably built with $20,000 worth of aid money by an organisation I guarantee pretty well everyone in this room would know. And the answer came back, well, it was built on ancient battlegrounds and there's bad spirits in the ground. And so we can't drink the water or there'll be bad spirits in us and we'll die. And it was so interesting because it's so easy when we're trying to drive change, when we're trying to positively impact people to make assumptions about what that looks like, what they need, how that's delivered. And the really fascinating thing about that experience was that the best of intentions had just gone so awry. And it was purely because of the, the absence of collaboration, of asking questions, the preparedness to co-design, any of that. I think it's so important that we embrace that and include that in the way that we work, particularly when we're driving change, in order to make sure it sticks by virtue of pushing for change, you will see the status quo dig its heels in. It's important to be ready for that reality because it's unfortunately naive to think it won't present itself. So the important thing is thinking about what's my game plan for how I tackle that. So I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for the opportunity to present you today. <laughs>